Brought to you by wikivd.com Molly Ringwald Molly Kathleen Ringwald is an American actress, singer, dancer, and author. She was cast in her first major role as Molly in The Facts of Life after a casting director saw her playing an orphan in a stage production of the musical, Annie. She and several other members of the original Facts of Life cast were let go when the show was reworked by the network. She made her motion picture debut in the independent film Tempest, which earned her a Golden Globe nomination. After subsequently appearing in the successful John Hughes film Sixteen Candles, The Breakfast Club, and Pretty in Pink, Ringwald became a teen icon. She later starred in The Pickup Artist and For Keeps. She starred in many films in the 1990s, most notably Something to Live For, The Alison Gertz Story in The Stand. Ringwald is part of the Brat Pack and she was ranked number one on VH1's 100 Greatest Teen Stars. Early Life Ringwald was born in Roseville, California, just outside Sacramento. The daughter of Adele Edith, a housewife and chef, and Robert Scott, Bob, Ringwald, a blind jazz pianist. Ringwald has two siblings, Beth and Kelly, and an older brother who died before she was born. She started her acting career at age five, appearing in a stage production of Alice Through the Looking Glass as the Dormouse. The next year, she recorded I Wanna Be Loved By You, a music album of Dixieland jazz with her father and his group, the Fulton Street Jazz Band. 1978-83, Career Beginnings In 1978, at the age of 10, Ringwald was chosen to play Kate in the West Coast production of Annie, performing in Los Angeles. In 1979, Ringwald appeared on the TV series De Front Strokes and was selected to become part of a very large cast of that show's spin-off The Facts of Life. She played Molly Parker, a perky, feminist student at Eastland Girls School. At the beginning of the second season, the show underwent a major revamp and most of the cast, including Ringwald, were cut from the show. Ringwald later said that Nancy McKeon replaced her to play a new character named Joe. In 1980, Ringwald performed as a lead vocalist on two Disney albums. On the patriotic album Yankee Doodle Mickey, Ringwald sang, This Is My Country, The Star Spangled Banner and God Bless America. She later performed one track on a Disney Christmas album, Turning Toward Motion Pictures. She was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for her role in the 1982 film Tempest. 1984-89, 16 Candles, The Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, and Early Success. Ringwald rose to prominence with her breakout role in 16 Candles. She was cast as Samantha Baker, a girl whose 16th birthday is forgotten. Ringwald's performance gained critical acclaim, many called her acting engaging. Ringwald would later say, It is not a good idea to do remakes of great classic films. When asked if there would be a remake to Sixteen Candles, Ringwald was regarded as a member of the so-called Brat Pack of 1980s teen actors, but has said she was not really part of that group. Ringwald gained more success when she was cast in another John Hughes film called The Breakfast Club which was a commercial and critical success. Ringwald was cast as Claire Standish, a spoiled rich, so-called sophisticate who is in detention for skipping class. Ringwald's performance gained strong reviews. The following year, she was cast as Andy Walsh in another successful Hughes film called Pretty in Pink. Ringwald's role as Andy went on to become one of her most recognizable performances. When first asked to be in Pretty in Pink, Ringwald was reluctant, but after seeing how hard it was, 
for the producers to find a replacement for her, she decided she would portray Andy in the film. Ringwald was offered a role in another John Hughes film called Some Kind of Wonderful, but she turned down the role as she felt it was too similar to her other films she worked on. With Hughes, after Pretty in Pink, Ringwald planned to star in more mature roles. Ringwald was later featured on the cover of Time magazine on May 26, 1986. Ringwald was set to star in another Hughes film called Oil and Vinegar. The film was scrapped when John refused to rewrite the script. The film would have been about a soon-to-be-married man and a hitchhiking girl talking about their lives during the length of the car ride. In 1987, she was cast as Randy Jensen in The Pickup Artist, opposite Robert Downey Jr. in one of his first lead roles. The film was met with mixed reviews while being a moderate commercial success. The Pickup Artist focused on a womanizer who meets his match when he falls for a woman in debt to the Mafia. The following year she starred in For Keeps a commercial success that received mixed reviews by critics, but was well received by audiences. It is considered Ringwald's final teen movie. Ringwald portrayed Darcy Elliott, the editor, at her high school paper, who gets pregnant by her long-term boyfriend Stan, portrayed by Randall Battingcoff. Her performance received positive reviews. The film was praised by some critics for showing the struggles of teen pregnancy. She was later cast in Fresh Horses. The film was met with generally negative reviews and underperformed at the box office. The film also starred Andrew McCarthy, who previously worked with Ringwald in Pretty in Pink. 1990s 2010s, the stand and continued acting. In the early 1990s, Ringwald reportedly turned down the female lead roles in Pretty Woman and Ghost. In the mid-1990s, Ringwald, who had been educated at a French high school in Los Angeles called Lycée et Francais de Los Angeles, and is fluent in French, moved to Paris and starred in several French movies. She returned home to the U.S. intermittently to appear in American movies and television. In 1990, Ringwald appeared in the James Scott-directed Strike at Rich alongside Robert Lindsay and John Gielgud. That same year she starred in Betsy's Wedding as Betsy Hopper. This film gained generally mixed reviews despite being a commercial success. Ringwald later starred in Something to Live For, The Alison Gert Story. In 1994, she was cast as Franny Goldsmith in the TV adaptation of Stephen King's The Stand. Ringwald's performance was generally well received. She next played the leading role in the film Malicious as Melissa Nelson, a disturbed woman who has an affair with a college star baseball player. She later starred in the ABC sitcom Townies. She also made one appearance as a blind woman on the critically acclaimed cable series Remember When. She starred with Lara Flynn Boyle and Terry Hatcher in the 1998 made-for-television film Since You've Been Gone. In 1999, she played the starring role of L.I.L. Bit in Paula Vogel's play How I Learned to Drive at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles. In 2000, she appeared in an episode of Showtime's The Outer Limits, Judgment Day. In 2000 Ringwald appeared in the ensemble restaurant-themed film In the Weeds. And in 2001 she had a cameo in the commercially successful Not Another Teen movie that earned her an MTV Movie Award nomination. In theatre, she wore a green, green dress. In Jonathan Larson's off-Broadway musical Tick, Tick, Boom, and headlined as Sally Bowles in Broadway's long-running revival of Cabaret from December 18, 2001 until April 28, 2002. In 2003 Ringwald appeared in Enchanted April on Broadway beginning April 8. 
but left after the June 15 performance due to pregnancy. In late 2004 she starred in the play Modern Orthodox on Broadway, opposite Jason Biggs and Craig Bierko. In 2006 she starred in the television film The Wives He Forgot and That Fall, and Winter starred as Charity Hope Valentine in the national tour of the Broadway revival of the musical Sweet Charity. She also played a supporting role as Molly McIntyre's mother Helen in Molly, an American girl on the home front. Ringwald starred in the ABC Family Network's series The Secret Life of the American Teenager, which debuted on July 1, 2008, playing the title Teenager's Mother. Ringwald read the audiobook edition of the 2012 novel The Middle Steens by Jamie Attenberg. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.